Hi, so this is a video showing how to install the latest version of Anaconda Python. Uh, I'm filming this in late September 2020. Um, so we go to anaconda.com and if you just click get started, we give you some options. We want to do this one down at the bottom here, install Anaconda Individual Edition. If I click on this, it takes me to the Individual Edition uh, page. I scroll down a little, there's a download button here, click download. Now I'm installing this for Windows, so here I would select the appropriate installer, uh, depending upon um, my machine. I've got a 64-bit machine, so I would download this. If you're not sure, um, if you've got your computer in the last couple of years, it will be a 64-bit machine, so you can download that there. Um, there are there are ways that you can Google online to find out whether you have a 64 or a 32 bit uh, Windows machine. So I downloaded this previously. So I come across to uh, my Explorer. This is my downloads folder. Um, you can see here I've got a file Anaconda 3 2020.07 Windows x86 64.exe. So this is the installer file. I'll double click that. And we should get uh, a graphical interface uh, to lead us through the installation process. Here it is. Uh, so the first step, we just click Next. Uh, this is our end user license agreement. So you might want to read through that. I'm going to click Agree. Now we come to Select Installation Type. Uh, if you can, preferably you will select All Users. Uh, this is going to require administration privileges. Uh, if you don't have those, you'll need to just install just me, uh, which is possible. Uh, if you can, select all users. Notice the icon down here on Next changed. So when I click Next, um, I will be prompted to provide um, administrator privileges. You won't be able to see that in this video, but I'll, I'll just click OK and then I'll come back to this screen. Okay, uh, so that took uh, a few seconds to uh, allow the administrator privileges, but now I'm on to the next screen. Uh, choose Install Location. Uh, just click Next here. This, by default, will go to your C drive, Program Data, Anaconda 3. That's fine, so we click Next. Now, on this Advanced Installation Options uh, screen, initially the, the bottom uh, option is, is ticked, but not the top one. Uh, we recommend that you, you check the top one as well. Um, it says not recommended, but uh, we think this is the best way to go. So, now we're ready to install. Um, this is going to take some time, um, depending depends upon how fast your, your computer is. Uh, even if you've got a really fast uh, new machine, it will still take uh, uh, several minutes. So, you might want to make a cup of tea or, or go away and do something else in the meantime. That's what I'll do. Uh, I'll click install now, and then I'll probably pause the video and I'll come back once we've uh, gone through the installation. Okay, so after a few minutes, my installation is now complete. So I can click Next. And that's it. We, uh, we've pretty much finished installing Anaconda Individual Edition. If you leave those two boxes checked uh, by default and we click Finish, uh, we should uh, open up. Um, I think a browser should open and we should see, uh, yeah, here we go, uh, these um, readme pages uh, and some more information about Anaconda. Now, to check that we've installed this uh, correctly, uh, we can go to, we can hit the Windows key or we can click on the Windows button on the taskbar um, and we can start typing Anaconda and I think the, the best one to check is Anaconda Navigator, Anaconda 3. We'll just click on that one. Um, the first time uh, we load this, it may take a little while to open up because Anaconda has to 
you know, do all the initialization uh, of various scripts and packages. So this first startup may take a little bit longer, but if you've installed successfully, you should start to see your computer doing a few things like this. You can see it's initializing. It's loading applications. Loading environments. Should be able to ignore any of these issues. So, uh, when you first open it up, it will ask you if you uh, if you're happy to help improve Anaconda by sending uh, anonymous information. Um, I usually click uh, click OK and, and don't show this again. I'm usually happy to do that. It's up to you whether you you do that. And here you go, this is what you, uh, the sort of thing you should see when you've installed Anaconda Navigator um, appropriately. Let's just do another step to check quickly. If we click on Jupyter Notebook here, and we click Launch, hopefully we should launch Jupyter Notebook in our browser. This is just using the base environment. Um, once you've installed other environments, such as the uh, SDS 2020 environment, you can um, change the environment before you open Jupyter. Here we go. Jupyter has opened up, and we've essentially got a file browser. Um, so we could go and try and find a notebook, maybe a code count notebook, for example. Um, open it up. And there it is. See it coming through. Yeah, that's good. We could insert a cell above and just start doing some very uh, simple 2 plus 2 and run that. We get a right put of 4. Our favorite hello world print statement. Run that. And there we go. So uh, that's the instructions for installing. Um, Anaconda on a Windows machine.